Princess Diana was queer, the actress portraying the late royal in The Crown has said, ahead of the release of new episodes of the hit Netflix drama. Emma Caron, 26, who portrayed the late Princess Diana in the fourth series of the Netflix show, told the Sunday Times that the former Princess of Wales had always welcomed outsiders into the royal fold. Karen said that in many ways Diana was so queer, and was considered other in the royal family. The next installment of the drama, which will feature Elizabeth Debicki taking up the role of Diana, is due to air next month. Karen commented of Debicki, she's lovely, but we haven't actually talked that much about Diana. I think she's aware that I'm here if she ever wanted to ask a question, though. Debicki's debut as the late princess will hit the streaming service on November 9. This comes as tension mounts over how the series will handle the death of Princess Diana on screen. She died in a car crash in the Pont de l'Alma tunnel in Paris on August 31, 1997. An anonymous source has claimed that a line is being crossed with the portrayal of Diana's final days and hours. This source on the set of the Netflix drama told The Sun, to be going back to Paris and turning Diana's final days and hours into a drama feels very uncomfortable. Finally, some of the crew members are pushing back on the ideas being tabled. The show always tried to present a fictional version of royal history with as much sensitivity as possible. But lately, as things get closer to the present day, it feels harder to strike that balance. With some of those moments still so fresh and upsetting, it feels as though a line is being crossed. Some production staff are now starting to speak up about their feelings. But Netflix said that the exact moment of the crash impact will not be shown in the series. The Crown's plot received high-profile criticism from former Prime Minister Sir John Major, who is set to be depicted by Johnny e. Lee Miller in the upcoming series. Referring to a planned scene in the fifth series in which King Charles appears to speak with the then Prime Minister about potential for the Queen's abdication while Charles was still the Prince of Wales, Sir John called the drama a barrel load of malicious nonsense. The former Prime Minister's office said, Sir John has not cooperated in any way with the Crown. Nor has he ever been approached by them to fact-check any script material in this or any other series. A spokesperson for the Netflix show then responded, The Crown has always been presented as a drama based on historical events. Series 5 is a fictional dramatization, imagining what could have happened behind closed doors during a significant decade for the royal family one that has already been scrutinized and well-documented by journalists, biographers and historians.